Hi. In today's light learning video, we're going to be discussing MuleSoft's deployment models and how customers can go and deploy their applications where it works best for them. To start with, what I want to do is level set on some terminology that we're going to be using throughout all these different presentations. What we want to discuss is really going to be around what we call our management plane, which is going to be the, where we're actually going to be managing our applications and how we're going to actually make them run. So in here, at the heart, we have our AnyPoint Exchange, which is really going to be where we're going to host all the assets to make them more discoverable so uh, people within your organization can actually consume those. We also have our Design Center, which is where we're going to actually be building our applications and designing them. So that's going to be like your AnyPoint Studio, the Design Center up in Cloud Hub, all those different places. Then we also have our management center. In the management center, this is where we're truly going to be managing our individual applications so that we can go and make sure that they're running properly. So these are going to be things like our API manager. They're going to be our runtime manager, our any point monitoring, any of those types of services. Now, that's all for managing our applications. Uh, the other piece of, that we're going to talk about is going to be our runtime plane. So the runtime plane is truly where our applications are going to be running and what's actually going to be making them. That's where the rubber meets the road, essentially. Um, and at the core of this is going to be our actual runtime. So this is the actual runtime that the, the application is going to be using. So this is going to be you know, our uh, Mule 4.3, 4 Mule 4.2, those types of versions. And then around them are a bunch of runtime services that we're going to be using. And so these are what's going to actually help the runtime uh, connect up with our, with our management plane so that we can actually make those run and be able to manage them. And the reason why we wanted to talk about the different runtime plane and the management plane is really because that's how we're going to define our different deployment models. So in this case, we actually are going to be talking about both the management plane and the runtime plane, and who's going to be managing each one of those. So if we look at the management plane and the runtime plane, the question we want to ask ourselves with each one of these is who's going to be managing each one? So in this case, it could be managed by either MuleSoft or the customer. Likewise, the runtime plane can also be managed by MuleSoft or the customer. So in this case, Let's first talk about our fully cloud-hosted solution. So in this deployment model, essentially, MuleSoft is going to be doing the management of both the management plane and the runtime plane. So here we're going to have MuleSoft managed for the management plane and MuleSoft managed for the runtime plane. The next option that we're going to talk about is when the customer is actually going to be hosting the runtime. So in this case, we're going to talk about customer hosted. So in this case, we're going to have the management plane is still going to be managed by MuleSoft. And the runtime plane is actually going to be managed by the customer. The next that we're going to talk about is actually going to be a combination of these two. So in that case, we're going to still we're going to call this a hybrid solution. So in that case, we're going to have MuleSoft is still going to manage our management plane, but the runtime plane actually is going to be hosted in both locations. So in this case, we're going to have both uh, MuleSoft uh, managed and customer managed runtimes. The next model we want to talk about is really going to be our runtime fabric. Uh, you'll often hear that referred to as RTF. And so essentially what we have here is a MuleSoft managed uh, management plane. 
But on the uh, in the customer hosted data center, we're actually going to be having an appliance model where essentially the customer can go and have a containerized model for all their different applications. So in this case, MuleSoft is going to be managing the appliance that's going to be doing all of this. And the customer will actually manage the applications. The final model we want to discuss is going to be called our private cloud edition. This is our uh, smallest footprint as far as um, our uh, deployment models go. And essentially, this is really only going to be used for when we have highly secure um, uh, highly secure uh, runtimes that really don't want to be leaving that customer's data center. We'll generally only see this with our banking and financial institutions. Um, so it's very rare, and it actually takes a lot from the operations side. And a lot of this is because the management plane, which is by far probably one of the more complex pieces of, of, the, of, the, uh, of our uh, AnyPoint platform, is actually going to be managed by the customer. So this is where a lot of the operational overhead goes, uh, comes in. And we'll talk about that a little bit deeper in one of the follow-up videos where we uh, dive deeper into that. But then the runtime plane is also going to be managed by the customer. So it's going to be customer hosted for both the runtime plane and the management plane. As I mentioned, in follow-up videos, we're going to go through and actually dive deeper into each one of these and discuss what each one of those means. Uh, but for now, this is going to be an overview of our deployment models with MuleSoft. And thank you, and have a great day. Thank you.